It's going to be a great weekend to be next to a pool, but families in South Carolina will have to wait a few more days for a public pool to be open. That can happen on Monday. Meteorologist Tony Sadiku has researched how pool chemicals would affect coronavirus. Our average high temperature in mid-May is about 80 degrees, and for some people that signals the start of pool season. But not every South Carolina public pool will open Monday, and not everybody will be jumping in as soon as they do open. Beginning Monday, public pools in South Carolina will be allowed to reopen at a limited capacity. But can you get the coronavirus from a swimming pool? The CDC says no, citing there's no evidence showing COVID-19 can spread through the water in pools, hot tubs, or water play areas. Owner of Carolina Pool Management Jeff Gackle says chlorine in standard pools essentially inactivates the virus. The water is safe because it's chlorinated and it's filtered and it's constantly treated. We know the coronavirus is transmitted by droplets when people are in close contact. But while you likely won't get the virus from swimming, you may still be exposed just by going to the pool. You know, it's the touch points. It's the knobs on the gate, it's the handrails, it's the showers, it's the playgrounds. Those are the places that are a problem. South Carolina health officials say public pools that do reopen Monday must follow certain guidelines, enforcing social distancing and cleaning commonly used areas. They also have to limit occupancy to around 20% of capacity. But despite the safety measures, some tell me they're sitting this summer out. But everybody has to make their own personal choices, and we're choosing this summer not to go in pools. Capacity or not, I mean, it's still corona out here, so I'll wait. Gackle says the bottom line is your health is your responsibility. Pool operators will try to keep things as clean as possible, but you always should look out for yourself. And in North Carolina, public pools could open with restrictions during phase two if everything goes well. However, at this time, the state has not put out any guidelines for what that could look like. Back to 